There are two sets of checks that need to be done on any passenger. One is security checks, and in this case, with, uh, with the boy yesterday, all security checks were carried out. <clears throat> the second set of checks are identity checks. Do you have permission to be in the areas like the departure lounge and to board an aircraft? Those are the things that let us down. What happened was the boy arrived at security, it was very busy, it's summer holiday time, so lots of families around. He's mingled with families. As he's approached the security screening area, it appears he's with a family. At that point, we should have checked whether he had a boarding card or not. That didn't happen, that's subject to an investigation. He then went full, through full security screening, headed to the nearest gate where a Jet 2 flight to Rome was boarding, and four more checks should be carried out there, a passport, boarding card, and a couple of others as well that we're all familiar with. For whatever reason, he managed to avoid those checks and got on the flight. Airline staff have been suspended who carried out those checks and there's now a full major investigation underway. There are five, actually, five identity checks to make sure that, as a passenger, you are in the place you should be. Those failed. However, he did go through full security screening, so it's not like he jumped over a fence or got through a door. He went through the process of going through a metal detector, being frisked by a security officer. All of those things happened, so he didn't present a threat to himself, to other passengers, to the aircraft. That's not to make excuses. We and the airline have to answer for the identity checks that didn't happen.